This is a lesson on subtracting four-digit numbers. So subtracting four-digit numbers uses the exact same process as, as um, subtracting three-digit numbers. So I wrote the um, steps down here again for you. It's the same as your last lesson, though. So remember that step one, you are finding the largest number in the problem. So in this case, you'd be looking at the <clears throat> thousands place because those are four-digit numbers. And then you'd write the largest number on top of the smaller numbers, making sure that the place values line up. Okay, so both of those steps are important. Um, and then subtract from right to left. So, so if the top digit is smaller than the bottom digit, then you'll need to borrow from the top digit to the left. So that's borrowing or regrouping, some may call it. Okay, remember that. Um, we've got some examples down here, and this looks a lot like the last lesson, but look carefully and you can see that it's not. So, in this example, we have to solve, and then we are also estimating to check to make sure our answer is reasonable. So, we've got 2031 minus 856. So, this is my larger number, and it's probably almost always going to be on the, on the left. Um, unless it is written in a word problem. So um, in the black is written the problem to begin with. Um, so I've got 2031 and then 856. And so the 6 and the 1 line up, the 5 and the 3, and the 8 and the 0. Okay, and then, and then you subtract from right to left. So first off, we have uh, 1 minus 6. Now you cannot take 6 away from 1. So that means 1 needs to borrow from 3. So 3 turns into a 2, and 1 becomes 11. Remember, we put a 1 in front of the 1 so that it is 11. Then we can subtract. So 6 minus 11 is 5. Then over here, we've got 5, and in the red is 2. So 2 subtract 5. Well, we can't take 5 away from 2, so now the 2 needs to borrow from the zero. Okay, the zero can't give anything because it has nothing. So zero looks at the two and it says, hey two, I need one. So two bumps down one, gives the zero ten. Okay, so that's where the ten comes from. And then ten needs to borrow one over here to the two. So ten becomes nine and 2 becomes 12 because remember we put uh, 1 right in front of the number that is receiving the extra number. Okay, so <clears throat> that makes the 5 taking away from 12 instead. Mm -hmm. So 12 subtracting from uh, 5 away is 7. Then we've got 9 minus 8 as 1, and then 1, mi or 1 minus nothing is 1. Okay, and then to estimate to check, we round. So I rounded here to the nearest uh, 2,000 here. Okay, we've got a 2 here, and the 0 is 4 or less, so we let the 2 rest. And then we've got 900 here, because we had an 8. And then uh, 5 is right next door. Um, five, is, 5 is 5 or more, so it bumps the 8 up and raises the score to a 9. Okay, and then we've got uh, 2,000 minus 900. So nine minus or zero minus nine doesn't work. So the zero needs to borrow from the two, which turns into a one. And then we've got ten minus one or ten minus nine is one, and one minus nothing is one. So we see that this is eleven thousand and this is eleven thousand fifty seven or eleven thousand seventy five, I mean. And we can see that those are close, so that this is a reasonable answer then, because we came up with something close. Now, over on the other side, this one's a little simpler. We've got 7,614 minus 5,105. So, um, this is the larger number, so it's written on top of the smaller number. And um, we start on the right here. So we've got 4 minus 5. Well, we can't take 5 away from 4, so 4 needs to borrow from the 1. 1 turns into a 0. 4 gets a 1 in front, and it turns into 14. 
and then we've got 14 minus 5, which is 9. Then this is 0 minus 0, so it works out that we just get to put a 0 there. <clears throat> then over here we've got 6 minus 1 is 5, and 7 minus 5 is 2. So we end up with 2,509. Okay, and then we're estimating to check as well. So we look at the 7, and then we look right next door. 6 is 5 or more, so we raise the score of the 7 to 8,000. <clears> and then we have the 5 here, and 1 is 4 or less, so we let the 5 rest. So we get 5,000. So 8,000 minus 5,000 equals 3,000. And so 3,000 is pretty close to 2,509 because we rounded so much it's not going to be an exact. But if we rounded, if we went 5, uh, or if we rounded this to the nearest 1,000, um, the 5 would raise the score of the 2 and it would be 3,000. So that's how we can tell that it is, an, it is a reasonable answer. <clears throat> and then on the bottom here, you've got a practice. So it says solve, then estimate to check if your answer is reasonable. So again, you're doing the same thing as we did above, um, solving and then also estimating. So pause the video right now and do question A and B, and then play once you're ready to see if you've got the right answer. All right, so you should have an answer for both A and B. And so these are the steps you're going to do. You are going to <clears throat> um, look at the higher number, which is the first one, and we're going to write it on top of this one, uh, right underneath in this space. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there it is, and make sure that the 7 lines up with the 1, 6 with the 3, uh, 8 with the 5, and the 1 up here should have no partner. Okay, and then we need to subtract. So, okay, so um, first, we've got 1, and then taking 7 away. Well, we can't do that. So, we need to borrow from the 3. The 3 turns into a 2, and then the 1 turns into an 11. So, 7 minus 11 is 4. And then we've got over here 2, taking 6 away. We can't do that either, so we must borrow again. So, the 2 becomes a 12 after taking 1 away from the 5 and turning it into a 4. Now we've got 12 minus 6, which is 6, and 4 subtract 8, we must borrow again. So we need to take this 4, turns into 14, and the 1 becomes 0. So 8 and then 14 minus 8 is 6, and so we've got 664. Okay, and then uh, to estimate, we need to round both numbers. So the first number rounds to 2,000 because 5 is 5 or more, so it raises the score of the 1. And then we look at the 8, um, and we've got a 6 next to it, so that becomes 900 because 5 or more raises the score of the 8 to a 9. So then we subtract. Okay, and then 9 can't be taken away from 0. So 2 becomes 1, 0 becomes 10, and our answer is 1100. Oops. <clears throat> okay, and then over here, um, we write the numbers largest one on top of the smaller one, and then we subtract, so 7 minus 0 is 0, 8 can't be taken away from 5, so it turns into 15, 0 can't give anything to 15 yet, so it needs to take from the 7, which turns into a 6, the 0 turns into a 10, but then for 10 to borrow over here, it needs to turn into a 9, <clears throat> and now we can just subtract. So 15 minus 8 is 7, and 9 minus 7 is 2, and then 6 minus 3 is 3. <clears throat> and then to estimate, we round both numbers and then subtract. 
So 7,000 would be the top number because the 0 is 4 or less, so it lets the 7 rest. And then we've got a 3 here and a 7 beside, so that turns that into a 4,000. And we subtract, and we get 3,000. So that looks like it's a reasonable answer. So that's your lesson, and here's your assignment, page uh, 71 to 72, numbers 1 to 4.